Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss how to sketch the ellipse, the standard equation of the curve, that is, ellipse is given by x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Now if we put the coordinates 0, 0 in this equation, we see that 0, 0 does not satisfy the equation of the ellipse that is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Therefore, we can say that the curve does not pass through the origin Now we will see the intersection of the curve with x axis. The curve will intersect the x axis when y is equal to 0. So let us put y is equal to 0 in this equation that is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Therefore we get x square by a square is equal to 1 which implies that x square is equal to a square which implies that x is equal to plus minus of a so, the curve will intersect the x-axis at point A with the coordinates A0 and point A dash with the coordinates minus A0. Now we have seen that the curve will intersect the x-axis at two points that is point A with coordinates A0 and point A dash with coordinates minus A0. Now we will see the intersection of the curve with y-axis. The curve will intersect the y-axis when x is equal to 0 so let us put x is equal to 0 in the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 therefore we get y square by b square is equal to 1 which implies that y square is equal to b square which further implies that y is equal to plus minus of b so the curve will intersect the y axis at the point b with the coordinates 0 b and point B dash with the coordinates 0 minus B that is the curve will intersect the y axis at two points B with the coordinates 0 B and B dash with the coordinates 0 minus B now as B is less than A therefore distance from center say O to B and B dash will be less than distance from center O from A and A dash that is OB and OB dash will be less than 
O A and O A dash. Now we will check the symmetry of the curve about x axis and y axis. As we are given the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and it can be rewritten as y is equal to plus minus b into square root of 1 minus x square by a square or we can also write it as x is equal to plus minus a into square root of 1 minus y square upon b square. Now from y is equal to plus minus b into square root of 1 minus x square by a square we can conclude that for each value of x where minus a is less than x is less than a y will always have two equal and opposite values That is, the curve is symmetrical about x-axis. Also, if we change the value of y into minus y in the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1, then the equation remains unchanged as there is a square of y and square of a negative and a positive number are same. Therefore, we can conclude that the curve is symmetrical about x-axis. Now, from x is equal to plus minus a into square root of 1 minus y square by b square we can conclude that for each value of y where minus b is less than y is less than b x will have two equal and opposite values That is, the curve is symmetrical about y-axis. Also, if we change the value of x into minus x in the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1, it remains unchanged. So we can conclude that the curve is symmetrical about y-axis. Now we will find out imaginary values for both x and y. Now the given curve x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 can be rewritten as x square is equal to plus minus a upon b into square root of b square minus y square. Now x will be imaginary if b square minus y square is less than 0 that is b square is less than y square or we can say when y is greater than b and y is less than minus b therefore no part of the curve
will lie above point B with coordinates 0 B or below point B dash with coordinates 0 minus B as we know that Y can be written as plus minus B upon A into square root of A square minus X square so Y will be imaginary if A square minus X square is less than 0 that is if X square is greater than A square or we can write X is greater than A and X is less than minus A therefore no part of the curve lies to the right of point A with coordinates A0 and to the left of point A dash with coordinates minus A0 now when we put x is equal to A in the equation x square by A square plus y square by B square is equal to 1 we get y square by b square is equal to 0 which implies that y square is equal to 0 when x is equal to a then y square is equal to 0 that is it gives two values of y Therefore, we can say that the line x is equal to a is a tangent to the curve at a as it represents an equation of a line. Similarly, when we put y is equal to b in the same equation then we get x square is equal to 0 that is it gives two values of x therefore we can say that the line y is equal to b is a tangent to the curve at B as it represents an equation of a line as we know that the curve x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 is symmetrical about x-axis as well as y-axis therefore x is equal to minus a and y is equal to minus b also represents the tangents to the curve at A dash and B dash respectively the equation of the curve can also be written as
x is equal to plus minus a upon b into square root of b square minus y square. Now, as y increases from minus b to 0, x increases from 0 to a to the right of y axis and decreases from 0 to minus a to the left of y axis Also, as y increases from 0 to b, x decreases from a to 0 to the right of the y axis. Increases from minus a to 0 to the left of y axis thus the curve is a closed one Now we can sketch the graph by using all of the above data. Here we can see that the curve is symmetrical about x axis and y axis. There is no part of the curve lying above the point B with the coordinates 0 B or below the point B dash with the coordinates 0 minus B. Also no part of the curve lies to the right of point A with coordinates A0 and to the left of A dash with coordinates minus A0. Here we can also see as Y increases from minus B to 0, X increases from 0 to A to the right of Y axis and decreases from 0 to minus A to the left of Y axis. Also, as Y increases from 0 to B, x decreases from a to 0 to the right of y axis and increases from minus a to 0 to the left of y axis. Therefore, we get a closed curve and this is the required sketch of the ellipse. x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.